Picture this, a Renault Clio Super Mini on its tiptoes and wearing an SUV bodysuit. This is the Renault Capture crossover SUV. Slightly longer than the Clio Super Mini, the Capture is for those who want a bit of added practicality and a bit of SUV appeal. It's also the French car maker's answer to rivals like the Nissan Duke. And there's no denying that with this curvy body and electric blue paint job, it looks the part. The cabin of the Capture is very similar to the Clio, which means black gloss highlights, plenty of convenient storage compartments, and on our model, Renault's easy to use optional R-Link system, incorporating things like sat-nav and media function. Standard kit on every Capture model is generous, as you get the likes of aircon, Bluetooth, electric front windows, and cruise control. Move up to the Dynamic S media trim we have, and you get some exterior contrasting colours, parking sensors, and electrically adjustable heated mirrors. In terms of comfort, there's plenty of adjustments in the driver's seat, great all-round visibility, and even machine washable seat covers. Just be aware there are quite a few cheap plastics. Rear and boot space is very flexible in the Capture. Allow me to demonstrate. In the back, there's ample legroom and headroom. Go to the boot, and there is 377 litres. That is bigger than the Nissan Duke and Peugeot 2008. But wait, there is also a removable floor. Sliding rear seats, and if you need that bit of extra space, rear folding seats to allow for 1,235 litres. Crossover SUVs have a tendency to remove themselves from what makes their Super Mini siblings great. The Capture, on the other hand, is probably about as close as it comes to delivering Super Mini roots. It gets the grip of the Clio, supple suspension, minimal body roll, and direct steering. Unfortunately, it also means it inherits the Clio's overly light steering. We are driving Renault's very capable 89 brake horsepower, 0.9 litre, three cylinder petrol, which for such a small engine is actually pretty decent when it comes to power, taking 13 seconds to reach 62 miles per hour. While fuel economy for this engine is fair, returning around 50 miles per gallon, the 1.5 litre diesel is what you want to go for if low running cost is your prerogative. It returns 70 miles per gallon and emits just 95 grams per kilometre of CO2. That means it's road tax free. There is also an eco mode you can activate on the Capture, saving up to 10% on fuel, but performance gets noticeably numbed. Even though the Capture's got more of a road domineering ride height, it still doesn't offer four wheel drive, so the Nissan Duke trumps it in this department. Those who buy the Renault Capture are likely to be after the gloating rights of owning an SUV, and you certainly get that with the Capture, both from a practicality and style perspective. It is, however, more expensive than most of its competitors, including the Nissan Duke and the Peugeot 2008. But what do you think of the Renault Capture? Let us know in the comments section, and don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Also, don't forget to check out our other video reviews on the Peugeot 2008 and Nissan Duke.